let's talk about four ways you can stay motivated during a workout. There is nothing worse than getting into a workout and just feeling drained and unmotivated, like you can't stick to it. And that feeling is what makes so many people give up because they feel like, you know, they're either not enjoying the workout or they'll cut it short and maybe get to it the next day. But when we get into a habit of cutting our workouts short and not making it a priority for us or not taking action even when we're not feeling as motivated as we'd like to be, then that's when we start making excuses for ourselves and we let our health fall to the side. So what we can do instead is just have a few simple tools in our pocket to help get that motivation up and help get that energy pumping so that we can stick to it. So number one is to have some great music playing. Oh my goodness, this is a game changer. If you've ever been to the gym and realized you forgot your headphones, you know how much of a drag it can be when you don't have music going. So spend a little bit of time putting together a playlist that's going to get you pumped up for that workout. Something that makes you wanna move, that helps you get into it, and even have a couple different types so that you can really go based on your mood that day. Number two, have a mantra to work with. A mantra is a short statement that you can repeat to yourself to keep yourself on track and motivated, to keep your attention on the prize. So when you're creating a mantra, it can be something like, I've got this. You want it to be simple, short, and meaningful to you. If it's not meaningful to you, then it's not going to get you pumped up. So you want something that specifically speaks to you and can be said really quickly so that it doesn't take a lot of your energy to get to. So it can be, you've got this, I've got this, I can, let's go, I want this, keep moving. It can be whatever you'd like, something that inspires you and helps you in the moment. So for example, if you're in a hard set of intervals and you're feeling yourself dip and you're thinking, oh my goodness, it may only be 35 seconds long, but this is the longest 35 seconds ever. I don't think I can. You wanna stop that mental pattern right away by jumping in with your mantra, I got this so that you get back at it and keep yourself moving. This is also a great thing to do when it comes to, say, a strength workout that's feeling really heavy or really anything at all that you got going on, whether it's pushing you further on that run. So have a mantra that you've decided ahead of time works for you so that you have something ready to go to. This has saved me during so many workouts. Next, you wanna make sure you have a plan. So number three, plan your workouts out in advance. This can mean that you're following along with someone else's workout, that you specifically create a program for yourself before you start the day. But if you go into that workout and have to guess at what you're going to do that day, man, it's going to take more mental energy than you need to be able to stay motivated. That extra little bit of thought can be the difference between a great workout or something quite mediocre. So if you take the time ahead of time to decide this is what I'm doing today, then you have extra motivation for your workout because you're checking off things as you go. You're actually seeing what you've completed and you know what comes next. That way, how you're feeling doesn't get in the way of what you want to do because you've already decided that this is what I'm going to accomplish today. And last but not least, it is have a defined why and some milestones to work towards. If you don't know why you are personally exercising, then what on earth is going to keep you going? You'll want to do it on days that feel good, but you'll be quick to leave it to the side on days that you're just not feeling it. So you need to have that why. And this can be a whole bunch of different things. So let's take a look at a couple. 
You know, it can be hitting a specific weight or body composition goal. It can be a certain health goal for you. You know, you can want to say, be able to run with your kids. You can want to be able to play with your dog easier. You can want to wake up with more energy in the mornings. You could want to do your first pull up. You know, there are so many different things that you could be working towards, but you want to have this defined and you want it to be something that actually pulls your attention in. If your why is too large, so say it's that you want to lose 50 pounds and that is quite big and you know what's going to take you a little bit to get towards. It's a very doable goal, but it's big. And so in the meantime, you might be feeling a little bit demotivated because you realize that each day doesn't get you right to that goal. So what you want to do instead then is you want to break that down into milestones. You want to pick little markers for yourself that you can be easily working towards so that you can see your progress, whether that be down the first five pounds, 10, so on and so forth. Whether that be, say, if you're working towards doing push-ups, you're starting maybe on the wall and then your next milestone is that you're able to move to your knees on the ground and it's working up from there. So having that defined why is huge and having milestones is what makes it attainable. If you can go into each of your workouts remembering exactly why you're doing it for yourself, you are going to have so much more drive to actually give it during that day. Our motivation is quick to dip if we don't give ourselves support and reasons to keep moving forward. So be your own cheerleader during the workouts. You know, get into your own head in a positive way. Tell yourself that you've got it. Remind yourself what you're doing there and give yourself something to pump you up like good music while you're going. And always have that plan. You can absolutely do it. We believe in you. So have those motivation tactics on hand and get yourself into a good workout. And if you need help planning your workouts, check out heartfitnesspro.com and send us a message. We'd be happy to help you out. Have a great day, everyone.